Hi everybody, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Aira, and today I just wanted to pop in really quickly to tell you that this is a re-edit from my third live stream here on YouTube. So if you want to find the original live stream, which was about two hours long, you can check it out in the iCard or in the description below. But someone gave me an idea to start re-editing some of my live streams to make them a little bit shorter and a little bit easier to watch because they're not so long. So that's why my hair is going to look so different. I didn't cut it. This is just from over a year ago. And I feel like I've gotten a little less awkward, tiny bit less awkward on camera. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you're having a merry holiday season. And here we go. So as you can tell in the description, today I'm going to be making a Christmas tree out of all dollar store stuff. Anyway, let's get started with my um, dollar store haul of all the things that I have that I can use for this. So these are like the little sprigs um, that they have and I liked these little, um, little baubles on here. I thought if I tore them apart they could make like some cute ornaments. Um, and then they had these individual, it's called faux snow sounds like slang faux snow <laughs> and so um these could be made into little ornaments mini wavy plates and i was looking for something specifically to be the base of the tree and so i was thinking i could maybe drill through this and make it like a base and then i got some poles one could probably be the center of the tree um yeah, that's the current plan. Okay, here's some other random things. I thought I could make um, some little ornaments out of Christmas ornament hooks. So, I don't know how I thought I would do that. But that's what these are. Scarf. And, you know, you always need a tree skirt. So I was looking for something that could maybe be like a little tree skirt or... Uh, yeah, that's basically the whole idea. <laughs> I got some tinsel. Now, I know this isn't tinsel that's in miniature scale. I was thinking I could cut it thinner, but that's going to be a lot of work. Um, this is just a little twine, green twine. This is some raffia. So some of this may just not get used. Um, and also in the search of looking for a tree base, I got this little, it's like the foam you can stick um, flowers into. Um, and then we've got this mossy stuff. Here is what's going to be the basis of our tree. Um, I felt like the, sp the spines, is that the right word? The, um, I don't know, I'm going to say spines. On these are uh, thin enough that they might look okay in miniature obviously I'm gonna have to cut it down but like this is a huge experiment so um, it may not look good at all and then you guys will know what not to do <laughs> if you're deciding to make a tree so I'll be saving you some dollars here um, and here's some red twine similar to the green and then the one thing that I didn't get at the Dollar Tree but it was only $1.99 is I did get these little Christmas lights at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to just make a big pile of stuff back here and I'm going to get started on this Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to be the center of my tree. So the first step is going to be to get this to stand up and be pretty sturdy. And um, that's what this guy comes into play but already I also got these. Um, because obviously this thing is going to be too big for a 12 scale Christmas tree. So, um, I'm going to kind of experiment with this because if I can get it to kind of stand up on this, actually I just got an idea as I was talking, I got an idea. So I am just going to, um, go for it because otherwise we're going to be here all night if I don't just go for it. All right, so we've got a thing of glue. So we got our first layer of foam on here. 
And I'm going to put a second layer. Hopefully this will be easy to put my this dowel rod through. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know. We're ready to stick the stick in. Hopefully it will go in straight. We got to trust my skills of making things straight. All right. We have a grid here. And I think it looks pretty straight. Fairly straight. I had a nine foot tree that we had to get rid of. So this is about seven feet. So I think that's pretty good. It could go into uh, many doll houses. So um, I'm gonna go with seven feet. So now I have to tackle this stuff. And this is where, like I, I felt like I was okay on my ideas for the base, but after that, after that we're a little lost. So I'm just gonna fill this up with some glue. If I ever go off the camera, let me know. Okay, so I'm filling this guy up with some glue. So that's pretty sturdy. Okay, so my thought is I'm just gonna wrap this around and then I'm gonna go back, can y'all see? <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this around kind of tightly, glue it down, and then I'm gonna go back and make like different sprigs. Is that the right word? Sprigs sticking out of it. This is the craziness we got going on right now, but I'm gonna definitely have to cut him down. But I like really um, dense, fuzzy Christmas trees. So um, having a layer underneath it is perfect for me because I do not like that's one of my tests before I buy a Christmas tree is I gotta make sure I cannot see because we do fake trees that I cannot see that plastic pole down the middle start cutting this down a little bit let's see what we got here it's looking not as horrible in the parts that I cut so I'm just gonna keep going we have a tightly wrapped little tree here okay we're gonna continue to cut him down nothing refined about this we're just guessing now I'm going to attempt to cut pieces and see if it'll look good as like individual branches that's my next attempt kind of like like that maybe let's see Thankfully, it's not that hard to cut. Let's see, kind of keep the same sizes. Okay, so if we cut it down, kind of looks, I mean, that's kind of in scale. Kind of. If you had a really fake plasticky tree with big, big pine needles. I don't know how many layers of these I'm gonna do. I don't wanna be here all night. Hmm. Do we wanna make a whole tree or just a really good half of a tree? What do you think? <laughs> like if this was, can y'all see? If this was a wall and I just made the tree so that it goes up against the wall. Hmm. Or is that just me being lazy? The back of my um, tree is not decorated, except for the ornaments that you don't, <laughs> that, you know, you have to keep, but um, you don't really want anyone to see. And I'm not just talking about like kids ornaments, but does that make sense? Does anyone have those ornaments where you're like, I... Like, I can't throw this away, but I really don't like how it, you don't, I don't like it. Okay, so what do you guys think about these branches coming out at the bottom? So it kind of looks like a, like a foot, <laughs> like a leg and a foot right now, but I'm going to put more branches on top. All right, we're getting close to the top of the tree. Let me give you an update. What do you think? Like, is it too spaced out? I mean, once I put stuff on there, I think it'll be okay. Is this enough branches for this tree? Really did not 
honestly expect it to turn out that way. So I am pleasantly surprised. All right, so now we are going to flock the tree and I need my paint palette, which I didn't get. Okay, so I'm gonna get just a little bit of paint on my brush and then I'm gonna dab it off because I wanna start light. Because I can always add more, but I can't take it away. So that's the beginning. So it's not putting like a ton of white on there, um, but it's just kind of giving it that frosted look. And it's also helping brush off the remaining long pieces that I cut off. So this is how it looks. I'll show you that. I'm going to trim up the top just a little bit to kind of give it that more pointed look. Okay, so let's revisit my dollar store stuff. Let me open this. This is the Spanish moss, and I've used this stuff before and it makes a huge mess, but it has a really cool texture and it's very, very earthy. These little berry guys, let's experiment. Just pull one of these things off. So I'm not gonna use the whole thing. See how easy it is to get just one piece off. Cause I could kind of do like Leslie's tree and put berries, stick berries in there. So that would be kind of cool. I also have these um, sparkly glittery ones. I think this is the only glitter thing I have. Oh, I also have the raffia, which I was thinking I could use kind of like, you know how people wrap it with ribbon? So it would just be a really um, like natural looking ribbon wrapped around it. Ah, the twine. There we go. My workstation is getting a little messy. I know you can't see it, but it's getting a little messy. And so I could also do um, like the twine wrapped around. So this moss, you can just kind of like pull pieces out like that. Like if you take the whole thing out, it's like this everywhere. Dirt and, I mean, cause I think it's real. I think it, like it's, it's real. <laughs> so if I stick that kind of in there, I don't know, does that even add anything? That may not even really add much. That might just make it look bleh. I'm thinking no on the moss. Okay, um, we're, we're on the same page again. Awesome. Let's start with the berries. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very like natural looking tree. I think that'll be cool. Let's see if I can get them off three at a time. I can always pull them off and then re-glue them. All right, let's get that guy in there. All right, so we got, whoops, can y'all see that? A set of three berries on a limb. I think that looks cute. We could do sets of two and three, kind of spread out on the tree. So I could do gold and red, maybe. Okay, so I've got a few berries on there. So I think those are looking really cute, just like sitting on the ends of the limbs. Oh, the gold ones are even bigger. Let's pull off a berry. Can y'all see that? There it is. Just sitting on the branch. So I might kind of group those as well. Does that look... Is that enough ornaments? Let me see if you can see. What about right here? Like, I can see kind of where it's like missing when I hold it up to the camera. So I'm gonna do the raffia, try and wrap the tree in the raffia. See how that looks. I can't even get it unwrapped here. Do y'all remember this stuff in the 90s? Like on every single decoration in the house? Let's see. So if it kind of goes up,
kind of kind of like that yes no I mean I can kind of like put some white on it too to kind of make it blend in but I think I don't know what do y'all think so there's this stuff it's very rough so it kind of goes with our rustic theme and it's a little bit thinner than the raffia so it could kind of wrap and like drape a little bit like I could maybe force it to drape like so can y'all see what do you think the raffia or the twine because I also have like the green twine these are the lights now these are not dollar store I have to tell you um, uh, so yeah I could open these up and see what these look like see if we just like it with the lights I wish that the string wasn't green because <laughs> then you could see the string a little bit more okay y'all vote on just plain lights raffia or twine so just plain lights raffia or twine for the tree and I'm gonna try and bend a star out of the if I this is the messiest my desk has been in a long time eh. mm, I think I'd need to have like the little like nails and then like wrap it as a star but it'd have to be like smaller I think so that I could like twist these together because if I could make it smaller and better looking like little um, stars hanging off the tree limbs it would be kind of cute I might just do a raffia bow on the top even though I'm not a bow maker let's try that I'm liking that for now the nice thing with this tree is if I rip it all off all I have to do is add a little bit of white paint I don't think anyone would know so I could redecorate it next year I could just start with the tree base okay where'd the bow go don't lose the bow we did all that work for a bow make sure I find the front of my half tree what if instead of wrapping the tree seriously hot glue everywhere what if instead of wrapping the tree I just had like the raffia kind of going through the limbs mm. Mm. no okay so here's the top of the tree so here it is with the little lights hanging off of it um, when I put it on permanently I will definitely like be a little bit more careful where I glue it and make it look a little bit more re realistic on where it's holding on like obviously not hanging off of an ornament that is going to conclude the live stream for today this is how far we got with this is just dollar store items from the stand to um, the actual treat it's all dollar store stuff so um, it was really fun to try and come up with these items that you normally think I can't make miniatures out of that and like come up with something that looks fairly in scale one last thing I didn't get to was the tree skirt little scarf so um, I'll probably I'll put that around there too and kind of like cut it to fit thank you guys so much for joining me um, I really enjoyed chatting with you guys you guys had great ideas my Instagram is kind of like scrolling down at the bottom um, if you want to just check back in a couple days or you can actually um, check back on my YouTube page because the when I post this live stream the um, cover or the thumbnail will be the finished tree whatever I decide to finish it up with so um, check back on that but um, that's about it hope you guys have an awesome December and I will see you in January Bye! Here are the final photos of the finished Christmas tree. There are so many different ways you could decorate this. If you do try this project, please make sure to tag me on Instagram at Bentley House Minis. I always love seeing what you guys create. 
Also, if you're interested in ever joining me in a live stream, make sure you have the notification bell turned on. It's right next to the subscribe button. I always upload a video letting you know 24 hours in advance when I'm going to be live streaming. And then there's also an email sent when I actually go live. It's always so much fun and I'd love it if you could join us. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.